today we are going to learn about the family solanaceae so morphology of the solanaceae family the terminology used for the description of the flowering plant or the family we had already learned previously so let's start with the habit the habit of the family occur as the herbs shrubs or even occur as a small tree the next one is the root the root of the solanaceae family is the typical tap root system as the solanaceae family belongs to dicotyledon it shows the typical tap root system then next is the stem the stem of the solanaceae family is generally aerial that means it is above the ground and sometimes it shows the presence of the prickles so prickles are the spines which are present on the surface of the stem then the stem is the underground and it is underground aerial or either the underground so both the type are occurred in the solanaceae family when it is the underground then it is appeared as the tubers so these tubers are very common in the solanum tuberosa which is the commonly called as the potato plant so potato are nothing but the underground stem this one is the leaf the phyllotaxy of the leaf in the solanaceae family is the alternate the leaves are simple and rarely it shows the pinnately compound so these uh, pinnately compound leaves occur in the potato that is a solanum tuberosa so the rarely pinnately compound Uh, stipules in the solanaceae family are generally absent the next one is the inflorescence the inflorescence is of the cymose type of inflorescence occurred in the solanaceae family and cymose type of the inflorescence are occurred in the solanaceae family which is generally common in the genus solanum and even sometimes the solitary flowers are appear as the individual in case of the example like datura so in which the single flower is represented as the inflorescence which is called as the solitary flower the next term is the flower the flower in the solanaceae family are complete flower that means it consists of the all essential and non essential floral buds it is bisexual that is hermaphrodite then actinomorphic the symmetry is actinomorphic that means the flowers are divided into any plan in a two equal half then the hypogynous and the ovary is superior and the pentamerous 
that means the each floral whorls are present in the multiple of a five or in a five number it is pentameters the epicallyx is generally absent in case of sodenaceae family next one is the calyx the calyx of the solanaceae family consists of the five sepals as the flower is a pentameters therefore the number of the sepals in calyx are five the sepals are gamosepalous that means it is a united which is commonly called as the gamosepalous condition then the calyx are persistent persistence means it remain present even after the formation of the fruit a starvation in of the sepals is the volvid starvation and sometimes it get enlarged and swollen in a fruit like a example is the bithania the next is the corolla corolla consists of five petals the petals are in the gamopetalous condition that means the petals are united the starvation of the corolla is the volvid starvation and the shape of the corolla is the either tubular or even the rooted or even sometimes it shows the funnel shape so rooted type of the corolla generally are common in the solanum genus while the rarely occur funnel shape are common in the datura the next one is the androecium the androecium consists of five stamen the five stamens are free and it shows the union or it is united with the petals that means the epipetalous condition the stamens are inserted in the corolla tube this may be corolla is either the funnel shape or a tubular the androecium is uh, inserted into the corolla tube the filaments are free while it is attached at the base to the petals that is epipetalous condition anthers are dithic dithicus and introns the dehiscence of the anthers is a longitudinal and even in some species it is even the pore that is the dehis by the apical pore the next one is the gynoecium
Kinoisium consists of two carpel, that is bicarpillary, syncarpus, that means the carpels are united. Ovary is superior, means the flower is hypogynous. The ovary is a bilocular, having the two locules. And the placentation is the exile placentation. The style is a single long elongated and it's end into a bilobe stigma. And in generally ovary is a seated on the nectary. Or the nectar. So, nectary gland is a present at the base of the gynoecium. The next one is the fruit. The fruit is either berry, like which is common in occurred in the tomato, or even it is appeared as a capsule in case of the datura. one is the floral formula are the nothing but the representation of the flower the solanaceae family consists a uh, flower of the solanaceae family shows the ebracted condition bracts are absent actinomorphic symmetry then the it is bisexual calyx consists of the five sepals and in the gamosepalous condition, corolla consists of five petals, gamopetalous condition, androecium shows the five stamen, and the epipetalous condition, gynoecium two that is bicarpillary, syncarpus, and the flower is hypogynous that is ovary is superior.